Hello guys, welcome and welcome to Meteor Nursing Academy, one of the leading academy in training nurses in the nursing competitive exam as well as IELTS, NCLEX and OAT training. Today in this video we are going to discuss about a vacancy announcement which is made by Ames Raipur. Yes guys, on the date of 17-6-2023 that is this month, yesterday they have announced the vacancy. So what kind of vacancy they have announced, whether 80-20 ratio is there or not. What is the syllabus? When is the last date for applying for this kind of post? All those details in detail we are going to discuss. So watch the video till the end, definitely it will be so much useful for you. Let's enter into the video. The first inform important information is All India Institute of Medical Science Ames, Raipur. They have announced this vacancy. So what vacancy is that? tutor vacancy as well as senior nursing officer vacancy once again i'm repeating tutor and senior nursing officer vacancy they have announced here okay so when they have announced already have mentioned it is announced on 17 6 2023 that is this month june 17 they have announced this vacancy and this is the advertisement number see always remember advertisement number is very very important guys okay please make a note of this number okay and here they have clearly mentioned Advertisement for recruitment of various non-faculty posts on direct recruitment basis at Ames Raipu. Okay. What are all the posts they have mentioned? There are many posts they have mentioned here. For example, tutor, senior nursing officer, senior head officer, dietitian, librarian, occupational therapist. There are many posts they have announced. But for us, which is very important, only these two posts. That is tutor or clinical instructor senior nursing officer okay uh, this tutor or clinical instructor this post is coming under the group a that is the pay level is 10 okay and in you are six post obc three post sc one post st one post economically weaker section one post total 12 post they have announced and also they are including their physically challenged people one post they have alerted for them and the next one is senior nursing officer for senior nursing officer guys 80 20 ratio is applicable once again i'm repeating 80 20 ratio is applicable for senior nursing officer post okay and this senior nursing officer they are coming under the group b pay level that is eight in unreserved category 52 vacancy obc 34 vacancy sc 19 st 9 economically weaker section 12 so to on the whole 126 and also in physically challenged four posts they have announced okay so this is all about the number of vacancies okay based upon the reservation and unreservation categories okay and next we can move on to the other important point as i mentioned already you can see the third point 80 20 ratio that is 80 percentage of post is allotted for female candidate they have mentioned in point number three okay so that's why i said that 80 20 ratio is applicable here and other important things are yes here you can see important instruction to candidates this option the opening date of online application is on 26 2023 that is tuesday coming tuesday okay and the application closing date on 19 july 2023 that is on wednesday okay so make sure that before 19 7 2023 whoever coming under the eligibility criteria please apply for this post okay fine the next one is here they clearly mentioned only online application form has to be filled no need to send any documents that is any hard copy no need to send to the aims raipur but obviously online application form has to be filled okay at the same time the pdf copy or printout of online application form has to be take and keep with you because during document verification you need to show the printout of online application form whatever you have filled so that is very very important okay fine the next important thing let's cover only the important point guys okay 
the medical fitness probation final decision disqualification yes the next important point is selection procedure for group a post group a post is which post tutor come clinical instructor post okay so for this one you know the selection of candidates will be done on the basis of cbt that is computer based test will be there followed by that interview will be there and the weightage is given for 50 50 that is for cbt computer based test 50 percentage of weightage they have giving and for interview 50 percentage of weightage they are giving so 50 50 ratio they are going to give the weightage for your exam okay and the next one is on the basis of mark obtained in cbc the candidate will be shortlisted for interview category in the ratio of 1 is to 4 for one vacancy four candidates are going to get selected on the basis of cbt first you supposed to write the computer based test in that computer based test you need to score the minimum mark and you are you will get selected for the interview you will get selected for interview so for one post four candidates they will be selecting for the interview please make the note of it only i am saying for interview they are selecting four candidate for one post one is to four ratio okay fine and here they are mentioning very clearly that is minimum score has to be get in the part 2 of the cbt see here two part they are keeping in the cbt exams okay part 1 and part 2 in part 2 it is totally related to your nursing so from the nursing subjects they will be going to ask questions in part 2 in part 2 you need to get the minimum passing mark if you are not scoring minimum passing mark in part 2 you are not at all eligible okay so that point is clearly mentioned in this area okay and other thing is group b oh yes group b and group c post group b post you know senior nursing officer is there okay for this you know obviously cbt is going to be there apart from cbt skill test is also applicable okay so these two things will be there for group b post okay fine and other important thing is obviously document verification after document verification uh, final result they will be announcing okay yes now how they are going to allot the mark see here they have mentioned very clearly this is uh, applicable for tutor as well as for senior nursing officer post total number of mcq what they are going to ask is 100 and total mark is 100 that is each mcq carries one mark okay and total test duration is 90 minutes that is one and a half hours one hour 30 minutes they are going to give for you and in that one and a half hours you have to complete 100 questions each question carries one mark okay and already i said that this cbt it is having two part that is part 1 and part 2 part 1 carries 25 mark and part 2 carries 75 mark part 2 is totally based upon nursing syllabus and part 1 it is based upon general knowledge awareness fundamental of computer application internet english quantitative aptitude general intelligence and reasoning ability okay so based upon these only these 25 marks is going to be there fine and you need to score minimum passing mark in part 2 for getting eligible for the interview okay fine so this is all about the score distribution fine and now reservation categories that is those who are coming under obc sc st so how much mark you supposed to score for unreserved category at least 35 percentage of mark you supposed to score okay in 100 35 percentage of mark you supposed to score in obc category or economically weaker section 30 percentage of mark you supposed to score and for sc st physically challenged and ex service man 25 percentage of mark you supposed to score understand guys so these things are very very important and the next one is this is for stenographer uh, for each and every post they are allotting the mark and they have mentioned here and the next very important thing is centers see very clearly they have mentioned about the centers okay see here these are all the centers new delhi mumbai kolkata 
ஹைதராபாத் பெங்களூரு லக்னோ பாட்னா குவாத்தி ஜம்மு ஜெய்ப்பூர் சண்டிகர் அண்ட் ராய்ப்பூர் ஸோ டோட்டலி டுவெல் சென்டர்ஸ் தே ஹவ் அலாட்டட் ஃபார் ரைட்டிங் த எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஸோ தோஸ் ஹூ ஆர் ஃபில்லிங் த அப்ளிகேஷன் ஃபார்ம் ஆஸ் இயர்லி தே வில் பி கெட்டிங் த ரெஸ்பெக்டிவ் சென்டர்ஸ் ஸோ ஃபில் த ஃபார்ம் ஆஸ் இயர்லி ஆஸ் பாசிபிள் அதர்வைஸ் யூ வில் லூஸ் யுவர் நியர் பை சென்டர்ஸ் ஓகே and ab- obviously the admit card for cbt examination they will be sending you the message after that you can download the admit card okay you please make sure you are giving a valid email id and valid phone number so that they will be sending the message to you related to the admit card and you can download the admit card please download the admit card from the laptop or desktop don't download from the phone okay if you are downloading from the phone the ip number the time of downloading these things will not be there so download from the desktop or laptop and directly give the print out okay fine and the next one is they are saying that answer keys of computer based test if you are paying 100 rupees for each question for each question if you are paying 100 rupees they will be giving the answer key of computer based test after completion of the examination okay for revaluation okay fine and the rest of the thing or the result will be published in the aims raipur website okay now we can move on to the age relaxation for obc candidate 3 years of age relaxation they are providing for sc st candidate 5 years of age relaxation for physically challenged 10 years of age relaxation central government and employees of state government and also autonomous institution like aims they are giving 5 years of age relaxation ex serviceman and commissioned officers they are giving uh, again 3 uh, years of age relaxation so like that they are giving the age relaxation and also one more important point those who are working in aims raipur in contractual basis for the nursing officer or senior nursing officer if they are working as in raipur in contractual basis they are giving 5 years of age relaxation okay fine and the next one is next important point let's see yes one more important point we supposed to keep here for obc candidates usually for obc certificate they will be asking for the current obc non creamy lawyer certificate right but here aims raipur i don't know why they are asking 3 years of income certificate okay and also in addition to that community certificate is also they are asking okay so those candidate who are applying for this uh, senior nursing officer post or tutor post in obc category please make sure that they are asking the income certificate of 2022 23 2122 2021 okay so if you are having all these three things please apply in obc otherwise you can apply in unreserved category okay and make sure that your community certificate is also there with you okay fine and uh, other important points or mm, let's see the important points application fees yes see here the application fees for general obc and economically weaker section totally 1000 rupees they are charging and for sc st physically challenged female and ex service person they are charging only 100 rupees okay so females even though they are coming under uh, whatever category they can apply or pay the fees of only 100 only 100 okay once again i am repeating general obc economically weaker section they supposed to pay 1000 rupees sc st physically challenged and females females okay so they can pay only 100 rupees okay procedure for filling the online application form please have a valid email id and uh, scan the passport size photograph scan the size of uh, signature of the candidates online payment everything has to be kept ready then you can start your online application procedure okay so in which website you can go for the online application form see www.aimsraipur.edu.in in this website only you are supposed to fill the online application form okay fine 
or else you can go with this website also so both are same only okay fine and the next one is yes photos uh, signature all these things you can uh, go through it and, uh, yes for date of birth certificates guys please have uh, your birth certificate please show your birth certificate as your date of birth if you are not having the uh, birth certificate even you can show the matriculation or secondary school leaving certificate or uh, mark sheet okay matriculation mark sheet or 10th or 12th mark sheet you can show for the date of birth proof okay if you are not having the birth certificate you can show these things also and what else yes this things are very important so for online application you suppose to visit www.aimsroypu.edu.in already we have discussed about that for any kind of technical support related to online application form you suppose to contact the helpdesk.aimsroypur at gmail.com okay any problem related to online application form only online application form even you can call to this number okay and the next thing is in case of any assistance or clarification in the recruitment just now i said that for obc they are asking uh, three financial year obc certificates right so for clarifying these kind of doubts you can call to this one that is recruitment at aimsraipu.edu.in okay and they have given the phone number also and you can call between 11 am to 5 pm okay so all these things are very important and eligibility criteria criteria for tutor and clinical instructor post bsc nursing degree from recognized university or registered nurse or midwife with tutor diploma and 3 years of experience they are asking see it's very simple bsc nursing either bsc nursing or gnm with 3 years of experience in teaching institution please underline the word only they are asking teaching institution if you are working as a nursing officer in a teaching institution you are also eligible for applying this post okay fine desirable qualification if this qualification is there it is well and good the desirable qualification or master degree in nursing again you supposed to register yourself in state nursing council 3 years of experience in teaching institution after getting the master degree and phd mphil whatever you are having okay and age should not be more than 35 years okay for you are age should not be more than 35 years for other categories the age relaxation is applicable and for senior nursing officer either you supposed to complete the bsc nursing or post basic bsc nursing okay and you supposed to registered in uh, state nursing council or indian nursing council and 3 years of experience as a staff nurse grade 2 after bsc nursing in 200 bedded hospital they are asking okay and here also the age limit is 21 to 35 years for unreserved categories and age relaxation is applicable for unreserved sorry uh, reserved categories and other things are for other post yes now the syllabus see already we discussed about the syllabus okay for your uh, reference you can go through it that is general knowledge and and awareness what are all the things they will ask english comprehension quantitative aptitude everything at the level of 10th standard okay general intelligence and reasoning ability all these things they will be asking for 25 marks and part 2 75 marks it will be from the nursing subject okay fine so that is what they are mentioning again and again that's it guys so related to this one the only query what i am having is the, uh, related to that obc certificate because they are asking 3 years 3 financial year obc certificate for that you can they have given the number and email id you can call to that number and you can clarify your doubts okay thank you very much guys if you are having any doubts please drop your message in the chat box and if you like this video please like it share it subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon